Hi, Money Magicians. Welcome to this week's episode of the Money Magic series. I have a bonus lesson for you guys. If you don't know who I am or you've just joined, my name is Vangila Makwakwa and I'm the founder of Wealthy Money and also the host of the Property Magicians podcast. So you can find out more about Wealthy Money at wealthy-money.com. Again, wealthy-money.com. And I teach people how to heal ancestral money trauma so that they can fall in love with their bank accounts and live their best lives. In today's episode of the Money Magic series, I'm taking you guys through um, a video <laughs> that a live class that I did in, I don't know, May, I think, um, around falling in love with your bank account. So this was the fall in love with your bank account challenge that I run as a course. And then I also have live classes where I do, where I do Q and A's, I answer questions, I do breath work, live breath work meditations, I do um, EFT tapping with students and we just basically work through our stuff. So this is a five day course in Wealthy Money Academy and this is the live class that I ran. This is day one of the last live class that I ran in the last series that I did in the challenge. So definitely check it out. Um, let me know if it resonates with you and at the end of the video I will let you know how you can sign up and be part of this incredible challenge and be part of the bank account challenge and I'll tell you more about that at the end of the video. So do enjoy because this week um, I decided I'm not going to have a guest and I'd rather have you guys get a peek into the bank account challenge, a sneak peek. Hey, hey, money magicians, how are you? So welcome to day one of the challenge. I am speaking to myself. I am thinking I'm in the right group though. I think I'm in the right group. <laughs> so I'm gonna wait for you guys to show up. So as you show up, say hi. This is day one of the challenge. Um, yeah. Let me know, you guys, how's day one treating you? I'll be honest, I haven't have, um, I haven't had time. Well, I did have time, but I didn't have like spiritual time <laughs> to do the, um, to look at my bank account. Like rather the guidance that I was given today was to lie in the hammock and just like watch random videos and relax. I got such strong guidance because I did the breath work meditation. I was doing breath work meditation around the uh, my fears of um, not being liked if I make more money than I need, make more than enough money. And we'll talk about that, right? But for me, it's really, really deep because it's like, oh my God, then people won't like me because then I'm expanding beyond them. I'm going to lose love. So I just, it just like gives me this whole... <gasps> melt down and also I'm like oh my god it's like what will people think and do if they find out that like well all I do is I literally sit work with spirit write content and that's how I grow my business and I wait for guidance on what to do next oh my god this is not working hard people are going to hate me because it's not hard work even though this is what I teach right especially in the money magic course I still get palpitations around this and it's super scary. So today I ended up in a screaming fit, screaming into my pillow <laughs> because the because um, I realized that I was so angry about this, you know, like I am so angry because I realized that so many decisions I've made in my life about so much has been around like let me not expand too big because I want to be liked. 
it's safe for people to like me. Anyway, this has absolutely zilch to do with today's lesson, but I wanted you guys to understand where I was coming from. So after that entire screaming fit that lasted a while, like even after the um, meditation, because I follow my own meditation. So even after the guided meditation, I was still screaming into pillows. <laughs> pounding my fists into the bed like my legs were like I was having a proper tantrum for like 30 minutes and then I got the guidance to just go have a pleasure session by just lying in the hammock and just enjoying the and nature and the breeze and yeah like five hours later I'm now giving a class Clearly, I needed that because it lasted like five hours. Okay, so I see Queen. I see all you guys, right? So welcome. Hi, Queen. Hi, Tebucho. <laughs> Hi, Stefania. I'm hope, I hope I'm saying it right. Um, yeah, so hi, Mpumi. Hi, Adelaide. Hi, Musa. <laughs> hi, Polite. Hi, Koketso. Hi, Sulani. Yay! So uh, we have quite a few new people registered for this challenge, uh, but I don't see them. Uh, some of them are not in the group yet. I think they don't know what the heck is going on. Like, so um, yeah, hopefully they finally find their way in <laughs> to this group. So I'm super excited to be doing this. Hi, MutsiDC. Hi, Tony. Okay, so let's start with lesson one because we're definitely not going to be talking about the fears of being liked today, right? We may do, we'll do that later on. It may be a bonus lesson or if it comes up in the class, maybe something else. It may be one of the lessons later on. So today the guidance that I wanted to talk about and trust me I wanted to talk about not having enough money or the fear of not having enough money but as I was in the hammock <laughs> I got very very strict guidance suddenly to start talking about this fear of running out of money given the situation that is going on in the world and just like the fear that we're going to run out of money and how that fear can sometimes feel like death and then I want us to work through it. So guys, if you don't mind sharing just quickly, how did you feel on day one of checking your bank balance and going, oh, bank balance, checking your bank account and sitting with that. So today, like I said, I haven't done that yet, but I'm going to do it before I go to bed. So I'm totally prepared. <laughs> it's on my agenda. So how was your experience of sitting with your bank account? Because even if you do it one month, I try to do it every month, right? Or at least twice a month. Even when I do that, like one month may be great, right? And then like another month, it could be the same thing going on in my bank balance, but my emotional reactions are completely different. And what I noticed today, where um, also why I was like, I'm not going to do this before the class, was definitely like, oh my God, what if I can't? can't um, continue building the business in this pandemic and then full on fear and anxiety that I could feel in my body and I was like oh okay so I just need to sit with that later on when I do that so there was definitely something else right so it's not and notice that often it's not even about what's happening in the bank account right now. Like, I'm not worried about what is going on in my bank account right now. I am fast forwarding to, oh my God, wh what will happen in terms of businesses? Can people continue to pay for these services, et cetera, et cetera. And yet this is so crazy as the pandemic has um happened like I've gotten way more requests for people who want to be private coaching clients and come on board for so many things again it's not about the money do you see that it's not even about what's happening in the business the business is behaving the way that it's behaving and in fact they are opportunities coming up but I am responding to my own 
triggers and also because I read the <laughs> I read the economist I'm following everything that's happening out there in the world which I think is important and I think it's also really great because it helps you see where some of the triggers then I'm like oh my god no it honestly cannot work it's going to be a disaster i'm already like three four months down the line <laughs> you know so it's so so very interesting to see that and it was interesting anyway for me to see that today right so let's see what does everyone say so kanya you say you felt frustrated and angry at yourself ah yeah sit with that anger so kanya i want you to figure out where did you feel that anger where do you keep that anger in your body and then like try to reflect on has there been other times when you felt that kind of anger in your body when you're working with money right so tony you said i felt shame guilt and i felt like a failure looking at my bank account i felt like looking into the mirror and seeing how i failed it made me feel deeply sad yeah so uh, Tony, after even today, the, um, uh, the meditation, I would love you to take some time out and uh, ask to see that part of you that feels like a failure, right? And just allow her to come forth. So close your eyes in a 15 minute uh, meditation, allow her to come forth and allow her to talk about her sadness and allow her to talk about how she's blaming herself and just listen and then just hold her right and a good way to do this is also to reparent her even if she is an adult version of you and just tell her that it's okay right it's about allowing the feelings to come to the surface and allowing that part of ourselves that makes us feel icky and like oh my god should i even feel that about myself oh my god that that's not positive thinking no 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 let me hide it allowing that shadow to come to the surface and giving it um a permission to be is actually healing because all that part of us wants to do the part of us that feels the shame feels the guilt feels the fear they that part just wants to be heard right this is why i work so much with surrender in the breath work right because it's about going into those emotions and allowing ourselves to feel them that's why in the bank account challenge on day one it's about just sitting with what is and observing it because actually most of us are trying to run from those emotions and it's like the more we try to run from them the more those parts of us go chasing Facing us, you know, because all they want is to be acknowledged, to say, listen, you keep telling me that, oh my God, I love money. Every morning you're looking in the mirror and you're like, money is my friend. I love money, but I'm here and I don't love money. So it's almost like most times we gaslight our own lived experience. We gaslight our own emotions. We gaslight our own um entire memories and our own trauma. And I love to say to people, if you had a daughter or a son or a niece or nephew, because most of us have uh, uh, may not have kids, but we've got nieces and nephews, right? If they came to you and told you that they were scared, would you think that it's healthy to just ignore their fear and tell them, oh no, you're not scared without ever getting into the discussion of what are you scared about? What do you want? Why does it scare you? And like really talking them through the fear. Would you just tell that child, no man, you're not scared. Just get over it and tell them, no, you are not scared. You really love this. So if your niece or nephew came to you and said, I have stage fright and they had to be in a school play, would you just talk to them and say, no, let's do this. You're not scared. You don't have stage fright. You love being in front of people. You love being in front of people. Do you think that would be fair to that child? Most of us will see that and say no, but we do that to ourselves as adults. We demand that we get over our own emotions. We don't try to honor them. We don't give them space. We don't listen to the parts of us that are feeling any of the things that they're feeling. So it's literally the way that that is a, that is a form for me that I feel it's a form of gaslighting and basically negating ourselves. And then we wonder why we show up in 
jobs where we, especially in anything that relates to money, where we have been negating our own uh, experiences, our own emotions around money. We show up to jobs or show up to talk to clients about our services and we feel unheard, we feel completely overlooked and negated because we've been doing that to ourselves around money for years and years, you know? So suddenly when I show up and I'm talking money or anything, people glaze over because it's just a reflection of the kinds of people that I am also attracting to me who are reflecting me, those parts of me, right? So as we start to honor ourselves, we also start to, especially around um, the emotion, any emotion really, be it I'm honoring myself, like how we talk about self-love to attract um, the partner that you want, like treat yourself the way that you want the other person to treat you. Suddenly it starts to be reflected in other people that you're attracting into your space, right? It's the same with money, right? How we're treating ourselves around money is how is also going to show up in how the people around us are treating us when it comes to money, right? So if I am behaving in a particular manner around money in terms of like, oh, people as um, I try to be as honest as possible around money, guess what? Most of the suppliers that I attract are going to reflect that. Or if I'm lying about money, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, have that reflected in my space as well, right? So we first do the inner work and then we start to see how that shows up. So this is why it's so, so critical to honor our emotions. And for most people, what often happens is they start to see that, oh my God, like there's so much shifts that's happen that are happening just from being in the challenge. And I always say to people, you are showing up for money. So money is showing up for you. So as you show up to do the money work, you start, uh, money starts to also show up for you and money can show up in terms of people who are showing up for money as well and showing up for themselves. So, and they can then buy your products and services because they are showing up for themselves so it's always an internal game right I want to say always but often right because there's so many things that are happening in the universe that we don't always have control over but the things that we do it's an internal game <laughs> right so let's see polite you say it makes me feel numb and scared it's okay um, sit with that numbness and that fear we you say sadness and shame and then uh, Lebohang, you say, I felt sadness, shame, guilt, but mostly anger at myself for not being able to keep the money in the bank account. Yeah, the anger is really deep, right? So Stefania, you say, uh, the heartbeat was racing, anxiety building with every minute, stomach ache and knots, held jaws tight, a bit of anger, and then insecure. Mm. Mizo, you say, shame. Uh, you say, uh, uh, I'm not sure what I did there. Uh, okay, Mizo, I don't know what I did with your... Oh, shame is my big one. Okay, and then Noctula, you say, um, I haven't gone through it yet, but thinking about it right now, I'm getting a slight headache. Okay, Koketso, you say anxiety because I know what I would... Uh, I know what I saw wouldn't last long. Queen, uh, you say, I felt so hurt, kind of ashamed of my bank account. Mm. Tony, you say, thanks, Van. Okay, cool. We'll do that. I spent some time with her this morning and a lot came out. So I do it again. Perfect. Debuho, you say, I felt sad and insecure. It's stored in my tummy. Mutsidisi, you say, I haven't done the exercise. We'll do it before bed. But the anxiety when I printed my bank statement and the fear that the money wouldn't last long. Yeah. Mizo, you say, I have this pressure. I look like, I look like, sound like, have a lot of money. So the shame of not actually having the evidence in the bank amplifies the shame. Mm. Okay. So Stefania, you say, um, when I got done, my thoughts went to the cash box. I keep uh, in uh, to the cash box. I keep because I don't trust the bank. Seems I'm feeling out of control or like something's gonna happen. Mm, okay. Humuto, you say, Mizo, 
you to I totally get you hey people also assume that I have a lot of money so not having it makes one want to hide okay so what do you say we'll listen to the replay I'm late and Lulani you say still talking the meditation hasn't started yeah you're telling Wadzi yeah the meditation hasn't started Wadzi if you're here okay so but we will start with the meditation so uh, what I'm getting is this, um, I'm just going to write it down because I also want to address the shame, right? I really want to work because I don't know why I was given the guidance to work with the fear of running out of money. So I want to work with that. But maybe what we can do is do an EFT tapping session around not around shame, right? The shame that I don't have enough money. Also, realizing that you know a lot of our emotions around shame is because we have been taught that we have to be something we have been taught that there, there should be x amount in our bank accounts so there's so much pressure right and that pressure also leads to the shame right so yeah let's work through i want to do an eft tapping around the shame and then we'll move on to surrendering to the fear of money running out in our bank accounts. And if you want to surrender to the shame of not having any money in your bank account, also do that, right? So they, I'll work through two. I've never done that before, but why not? You know, <laughs> I'm sure there's, there's no harm in working through both of them and then seeing what comes up. Okay, so let's start with the EFT tapping. Queen, you say yes to the fear of money running out meditation. Yeah, like I think, I think most of us may not even realize that we carry this fear. And I think what is happening with this pandemic that I see so deeply um, is that most of us are having this fear that money is going to run out, that, oh my God, I'm not going to have enough money. And not only that, it's that I am going to die because I don't have any money. So we instantly jump to the extreme, I'm going to die, right? And we have so many reasons for why that is right and i'll talk about that <laughs> tomorrow but letia you say i have money in my bank account i no longer have the fear or anxiety to look into my accounts but i realize that the money that i have doesn't work for me uh, to improve my life and help me live with ease yeah interesting right and often the fear of not enough money is also the fear of money running out uh, the fear of money running out is an interesting but layered fear right so let's work with um, the shame and the fear of money running out okay so if you've never done an EFT tapping session with me let me quickly explain what EFT tapping is. It's we're going to tap on the acupressure points in the body, right? So I usually start on the sore spots. So between your shoulder blades and just your boobs. And if you're a guy, yeah, same thing, right? <laughs> You'll find spots that if you touch here, they're a little I want to say tender. Yeah, that's the best word. And if you just rub them, you can feel a difference. So we're going to tap on those. Then we're going to tap on the wrist points. We tap on the side of the hand. That's karate chop, top of the head, eyebrow point, side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, chin point, and then back to the, uh, to the collarbone, right? So the reason why we do this is that EFT um, is just us using acupuncture without needles, just tapping on the sore spots, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to just continue, you're going to repeat what I'm saying, right? So I'll tap, I'll say something and keep quiet, giving you guys an opportunity to say, some, uh, to tap again right whatever comes up just notice it i do a lot of feeling into the body right because i'm prepping us for the breath work so there'll be a lot of just oh okay just now we're not going to say anything focus on the breath etc so it's pretty simple nothing uh, to it really so let's get started tap on the soft spots over here and just repeat it after me even though 
I have this shame that I don't have enough money in my bank account. And I look like I have money. And I sound like I have money. That's okay. I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have all this shame that I don't have enough money in my bank account. That's okay. I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have all this shame that I look rich, I sound rich, but my bank account doesn't show it and shake your head. And I am scared and ashamed because what are people going to say when they find out the truth? And as you say that, I want you to just reflect on the people who's coming up for you. Okay, so side of the hands. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Sigh, I want you to make a sound. Oh my God. What are people going to say when they find out the truth about my finances? Side of the hands. What are people going to say when they find out the truth about my finances? All this shame. Because I am not who people think I am. Shake your head. Top of the head. I feel so ashamed. And I want you to stress the ashamed. I feel so ashamed of my bank account because I am not who people think I am. Eyebrow point. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. See what's happening with your breath right now. And I want you to silently think, what are people going to say when they find out the truth about my finances? Just focus on your breath as you silently think that. And feel into your body as you think that. Often shame is about what people are going to say. Right? So side of the eye. Okay, I have so much shame about my financial life right now, about my finances. Under the eye. My bank account is telling me that I am, what is your bank account telling you? I am a failure, I am not good enough, I suck with money. What is your bank account telling you? Let it come to the surface. 
under the um, under the nose, one hand on heart. My bank account is telling me. What is your bank account telling you? I am a failure. I am not good enough. I suck at money. I am a liar. Chin point. I have so much shame around my finances. I am so scared that people are going to find out the truth about my finances. And what will they say? So collarbone point. All this shame that sits in my body. Because of my finances. And as you say that, I want you to feel into where this is sitting in your body. I can feel this shame in, where are you feeling this shame? Can feel it in my throat, in my tummy, in my womb, in my toes. Okay, side of the hands. And this shame makes me want to, what does this shame make you want to do? It makes me want to hide makes me want to run away from my finances. What does the shame make you want to do? Just say it. Don't overthink it. Side of the hands. This shame makes me want to... Just breathe into that. Take a deep breath in. Hold it. Feel into your body, sigh out, exhale, relax your shoulders. <sighs> okay, so top of the head, close your eyes just for this particular point. Observe your breath, what's going on with your breath, what's going on with your body. And then eyebrow point, open up your eyes. All this shame around my bank account. Side of the eye. What will people say if they find out the truth about my finances? Under the eye, I am so scared of what people will say when they find out the truth about my finances. Under the nose, and they will be right. Whatever they say will be right. Because my finances right now are showing me that I am. What are your finances showing you? I am a failure. I am not good enough. Whatever comes up. Chin point. My finances are showing me that I am. Collarbone point, and I'm just going to honor this message now. Whatever I feel my finances are showing me, I'm going to honor it because it has been honoring me. This shame, this 
feeling that I am, whatever your finances were telling you were, a failure, not good enough, not good with money. Those feelings and those thoughts have been honoring me. So I am going to honor them. And take a deep breath in, close your eyes. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale. And big sigh. And you can shake out your hands. <sighs> right so just feel that just feel how you're feeling right and we're going to go into a quick tapping round about the fear of running out of money right i want us to work with fear and shame today so in the breath work as well so inhale i want you to put your hands on your heart and exhale Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Okay, so let's start back to karate chop point. Okay, even though I have this fear that I am going to run out of money. That's okay. I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though There is a part of me that is really, really scared, and I want you to nod now, that they are going to run out of money. Maybe because they saw, they saw it so many times when growing up saw that money runs out. That's okay. I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Now I want you to just breathe into that. Feel into your body and exhale. Drop your shoulders as you exhale, and you can even move your shoulders around, right? So even though there is a part of me that learned that money eventually runs out, that's okay. I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Okay, and then inhale and exhale. <sighs> okay, wrist point. I'm going to run out of money. And I want you to nod as you say this. It is a fact. Say that. It's a fact. I am going to run out of money. Side of the hands. I saw this growing up. Or maybe you didn't see it growing up. Maybe you saw it. Maybe you experienced it in your last work environment or whenever. If that's the case, then say that. Money runs out.
top of the head. And I've been holding on to this fear of running out of money for a very long time. This fear feels very normal to me. It feels very, very true to me. I am going to run out of money. And nod your head. Side of the eye. I want you to close your eyes. And just feel into your body. And just take a deep breath in. Exhale. And just slump a little as you exhale. Under the no under the eye, sorry. Feel into your body this time. Keep your eyes closed. Feel into your body. What's going on in your body? And I want you to re silently repeat. I am going to run out of money. This money is not enough. I'm going to run out of money. And then hand on heart, tapping under the nose. I am going to run out of money. This deep fear that I'm going to run out of money. Chin point. I am definitely going to run out of money. I don't have enough money. My bank account is telling me this. And then collarbone point. I am going to run out of money. Money always leaves. I am going to run out of money. Queen, if your four, if your two year old is repeating, don't worry, just do it. Right? Let her, re let him or her repeat. Don't worry about it. Kids repeat naturally, right? So if they're doing the tapping, don't sweat. So. Okay, so wrist point, I'm going to run out of money. So feel into your body. Notice how the fear is feeling in your body as you say that. I don't have enough money and I'm going to run out of money. Side of the hands. And yet, every time... I've been able to make more money, or generate more money, or manifest more money. Every time I've run out of money, it hasn't been forever. Top of the head. So even though I do run out of money, I don't run out of money forever. Then how does that make you feel when you think that? Then eyebrow point, inhale, exhale, side of the eye. But no, this time is different. This time we are in a pandemic. I am definitely going to run out of money. Under the eye. I want you to just breathe in again. Hold it. Feel into your body as you hold. And exhale and relax. <sighs> Under the nose, hand on heart. Breathe. Just breathe and then repeat to yourself, this time I'm in a pandemic, what am I going to do if I run out of money? 
right? Allow your mind to go to the very end. What am I going to do if I run out of money in this pandemic? Get it to get to the very edge of your fears. Chin point, I am going to run out of money. All this fear that I am going to run out of money and nod your head. Ah, inhale and exhale. And then collarbone point, maybe I can give myself permission to surrender to the fear that I'm going to run out of money. Inhale, exhale, ah, shake out your hands, shake your head, move your shoulders, right? How are you feeling? We're gonna do move on to the breath work, right? Like I definitely felt at first like my breath was shallow when we started with the fear of running out of money. I was like, wow, that is that is real, you know? And but by the second round, I just felt this loosening. So how are you guys feeling? Uh, we're gonna do so if the most intense for you was the shame of money in your bank account. Um, the shame of um, your bank account and what's happening in your bank account and your finances. I want you to do the breath work on the shame. And if the most intense for you was the fear of running out of money, I want you to surrender to uh, the fear of running out of money, right? So you will choose whichever you're going to surrender to. And I am going to um, just do the breath work on on both of them. So that means that in the replay, if both of them were triggering you, you will do, you can do the most intense. And when that one starts to feel like, oh, it's not as intense anymore, you'll work through the shame. You can come back and do the breath work on the shame as well, right? So guys, close your windows, close your doors, um, get a yoga mat, get on your bed. Vuyile, you say you feel, I feel so tired. Yeah, because we've moved so much energy, right? So when we do the breath work, Vuyile, you can just start by just um, slowly inhaling and exhaling, right? Um, and just uh, slow down your breathing. And then Humutso, you say my breath was also shallow. I had to keep yawning because it felt like my breath was stuck on my lungs. I struggled to breathe. So yawning is great, great, right? So if you guys have some kind, I have water, especially Vuyile, um, to circulate the energy, please just drink a little bit of water before we go into the breath work. Not too much, right? Because we're going to be breathing. And then... Um, um, Bumi, you say lump in my throat and the chest closing up. Okay, fantastic. So whatever it was that you that you were feeling in your body in the breath work, you can even bring your hands to that body area and breathe into it, right? And just keep allowing and keep asking. When I say, what if you give yourself permission to surrender to the shame that you feel about your finances, or what if you gave yourself permission to surrender to the fear of running out of money you can feel into that area and start to breathe into it right so also start to move the energy where all these emotions are stored and then um this is pumla you say anxious um and then uh Mpumi, you say there was a lump in my throat and chest closing up. Great. And then uh, you can feel into that. Put your hands on your chest. Tony, you say, I feel ill, like I might want to throw up. Yeah. So, and lots of burping. Okay, good. Burping is releasing and throwing up is also a release. So if in the breath work, you need to go throw up. Uh, please allow yourself to do that. Right, Tony? And then polite, you say yawned and go uh, a gurging, I don't know if that's it, or, bur or if you meant burping polite, and tears, good, tears are released, right, yawning is a deep release, and Koketso, you say breath was becoming shallow, Hulani, you say I burped a lot during the first tapping, good, Noktula, you say tears and my throat is tight now, back and shoulders ache, okay, so Noktula, as we do the breath work, one of the things that you can do is just as you're breathing, especially as mouth, as your mouth opens is to just just like gently massage the throat and just 
feel into that, right? And then feel into your shoulders and your back. And Kanya, you say felt loosened up. That's good. Uh, Musa, you say lump in my throat and tears. And Kanya, you say plus yawning. Perfect. Okay, so Musa also like just feeling into the lump in your throat as you breathe, right? So guys, let's get started with the breath work. Make yourself comfortable. I'm going to give you like two minutes. Okay, Ladia, you say my throat is sore, felt my esophagus splitting up. Yeah, I also hold a lot of my um, emotions in my throat. So I often feel the most uncomfortable lump in my throat. And like, like my intestines often feel like they rolling on each other and coiling around each other and sometimes my womb. So I relate so much to the lump in the throat, right? Um, okay, so let's get started. So close your eyes, lie down in a comfortable position. And right now we're going to, I'm going to ask you to remember the intention that you set before you started this, uh, before you started the bank account challenge, right? I asked you guys to do what is your intention. So what is your intention? Bring that to mind and just intend that everything that is going to come up is going to bring you closer towards that intention and the result will be even more beautiful than you could have ever imagined, right? and just allow that. And then we're gonna hold a collective intention, which is that we're going to intend that everyone that is um, doing this breathwork session with us is also a is able to release the fears that they have around money running out. And they are also able to release on the deepest levels, the shame that they carry around um, the state of their finances, right? Around their bank account and their finances. Okay, so Tolly, you say tears, especially the second time, yes. Okay, so take a deep breath in, guys. And exhale. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. So if you've just joined, we're doing the breath work, get comfortable. Um, you've just joined us at the beginning. Get comfortable, get on a yoga mat, lie down on a bed. Okay, so inhale once more. Eyes closed, exhale. I want you to relax, relax your mind, feel your head relax, relax your eyebrows, relax your cheeks, relax your mouth, Relax your jaw. Relax your neck. Relax your shoulders. Inhale. And exhale. As you exhale, relax. Relax your arms. Feel your hands relax. Feel your fingers relax. Relax your chest. 
Relax your tummy. Relax your womb. Relax your jaw. Really feel your jaw relax. And then relax your womb again. Inhale. And exhale. As you exhale, feel your entire spinal cord relax. Relax your spinal cord from the base of your head to the base of your spine. So from the top of your head to the base of your spine. Feel your tailbone relax. Relax your back. Relax your upper back. Relax your lower back. Relax your butt. Relax your thighs. Relax your knees. Relax your legs. Relax your feet. Relax your toes. Just really, really relax. Now you're going to allow yourself to breathe out through your mouth. So you can go as slow, as fast as you want right with your breathing pace a uh, rhythm so as you inhale try to bring the breath all the way down to your tummy so i love to hold one hand on my tummy or my womb and feel the upward and downward rhythms of the breath in that area as they come in as the breath comes in and out so you can do that sometimes i also like to pinch my nose for a few minutes just so that i can get into breathing through my mouth for a few minutes so just inhale and exhale through your mouth and i want you to ask the question what if I gave myself permission to surrender to my fear of running out of money. What if I gave myself permission to surrender to my fear of running out of money? Or you can ask yourself the question, what if I surrender to the shame that I feel about my finances? What if I surrender to the shame that I feel about my finances? And keep breathing. Keep inhaling and exhaling through your mouth.
and feel into your body. Keep inhaling and exhaling. Feel into your body. And just ask, what if I gave myself permission to surrender to my fear of running out of money? What if I gave myself permission to surrender to my fear of running out of money? You're asking these of yourself silently in your mind as you inhale and exhale through your mouth. And what if I surrender to the shame that I feel about my finances? What if I surrender to the shame that I feel about my finances? Keep inhaling, keep exhaling. Allow whatever is coming up to come up. Now you're going to start sounding out whatever emotions are coming up for you. So as you inhale and exhale, start sounding out whatever emotions are coming up for you. It can be a scream, it can be anything, it doesn't have to be loud. If it's going to be, if you feel like you'll be disturbing other people, please sound into a pillow and just keep feeling into your body, allow the sounds to come. If no sounds are coming, it's totally okay, keep breathing. Once more, ask yourself, what if I gave myself permission to surrender to my fear of running out of money? What if I gave myself permission to surrender to my fear of running out of money? And keep inhaling, 
Keep exhaling. Keep sounding out whatever is coming up for you. Allow whatever needs to be sounded out to be sounded out. And if you're working with shame, I want you to ask yourself, what if I surrender to this shame that I feel about my finances? What, I, what if I surrender to the shame that I feel about my finances? Keep sounding out whatever needs to be sounded out. Keep inhaling and exhaling. Feel into the parts of your body that you felt carrying the emotions during the EFT tapping session. Just allow yourself to breathe and feel into them. Now you're going to speed up your breath just a little bit. So you're going to keep inhaling and exhaling through your mouth. And it may sound like <laughs> there's no pauses in between the inhale and the exhale. And as you do this, you're going to keep sounding out, but you're also going to start moving your body in any way that your body wants to be moved. So it doesn't have to be a big movement. It can be getting off the bed, jumping up and down, rolling around, or it could be just moving your arm or your hand. And if your body doesn't feel like moving, that is okay too. Stillness is completely okay. So just allow the body to express itself, to move as it wants to move to vocalize whatever it wants to vocalize and keep breathing.
now silently ask yourself, what if I gave myself permission to surrender to this fear of running out of money? What if I gave myself permission to surrender to my fear of running out of money? And keep sounding out, keep moving, keep breathing. Or if you're working with shame, what if I surrender to this shame about my finances? What if I surrender to the shame about my finances? Allow your body to keep moving, keep breathing. Keep sounding out whatever needs to be sounded out.
and ask yourself once more what if I gave myself permission to surrender to my fear of running out of money what if I gave myself permission to surrender to my fear of running out of money. Or what if I surrendered to my fear sorry what if i surrendered to my shame about my finances what if i surrendered to my shame about my finances keep breathing keep sounding out keep moving Allow whatever wants to come up to the surface to come up to the surface. Keep feeling into your body. So ask once more, what if I gave myself permission to surrender to my fear of running out of money? What if I gave myself permission to surrender to my fear of running out of money? What 
what if I surrendered to my shame about my finances? What if I surrender to my shame about my finances? Keep breathing, keep inhaling, exhaling. Feel into your body, allow your body to do whatever it needs to do in this moment. Whatever it wants to do, whatever movements it wants to make. Sound out whatever needs to be sounded out. Just allow whatever is coming to the surface to come up. Keep inhaling, keep exhaling. Allow your body to move as it wants. Sound out what, ne what needs to be sounded out. Feel into your body.
Okay. Slow if you've been moving or you've been sounding out anything, slowly allow yourself to come back to center. Stop moving, stop sounding out. Keep breathing in and out through your mouth. Gently start allowing yourself to slow down your breathing. If, there's, if your body still wants to move, allow it, right? If you can't get it to stop moving, allow it. If you can't get yourself to stop sounding out, keep sounding out. But if you can, allow yourself to come back to stillness. Slow down your breath if you can. Just ask, what if I gave myself permission to surrender to my fear of running out of money? What if I gave myself permission to surrender to my fear of running out of money? And also ask, what if I surrendered to my shame about my finances? What if I surrendered to my shame about my finances? Just keep inhaling in and out through the mouth. Feel into your body, observe what's going on in your body. And now you can also allow yourself to take a deep breath in through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And if you want, you can inhale and exhale through your nose for a few minutes. Keep feeling into your body. Keep observing what's going on in your body. You can bring your hand to your heart or bring your hand to your womb or you can have one hand on the heart, one hand on the womb as you inhale and exhale through your nose. Keep feeling into your body. Keep observing your breath.
if you want you can now take both your hands and give yourself a nice hug on either side of your arms if you want you can rub your arms you can rub your womb or rub your um, heart whichever feels comfortable for you And as you do this, you're going to thank yourself for showing up today. So you're just going to say thank you for showing up today. I appreciate you for showing up today. And you're just going to tell yourself, I love you. when you're ready open up your eyes I want you to stretch out and then you're going to take the next 30 minutes to do absolutely nothing but something that brings you pleasure so if it's eating a chocolate cake eat a chocolate cake if it's um, drinking tea drink tea if it's uh, sleeping, napping for 30 minutes, do that. If it's journaling, do that. So you're going to do something that brings you pleasure, right? And I would prefer that it's something that brings you physical pleasure. So journaling, not so much. Reading, not so much. I want you to think of doing something for the body, something that gives the body pleasure. So self-massage, oiling yourself, taking a bubble bath in the next 30 minutes, swinging on a hammock if you have one, right? What is it that's going to give you physical pleasure right now? Just do that. So please take these 30 minutes to do just that. Don't get up and go talk to your sister, your mom, look after the kids. Don't worry about that. Take care of you for now. And then in 30 minutes, I'm going to have a thread in this group that asks for feedback and we can all share our feedback and what we experienced, insights, etc. right? You can share feedback from the EFT tapping and feedback from the breath work. So I'm going to let you guys go and give you that 30 minutes and I'll come back in the group later and see what uh, your experiences were and read the feedback. So thank you so much guys for showing up today. Have a beautiful 30 minute self care session. Okay, so I hope that you guys loved uh, the challenge and the challenge video. So that was um, the first class, right? So the challenge is five days. You get worksheets, you get exercises, and then in the live class, I'm basically debriefing on some of the exercises that people have to do during um, the challenge. So you get the exercises are actually about, I don't know, like 15 to 30 minutes in total, except there's one day that's like a full 24 hours. But um, I've also replaced that in the time of COVID with uh, meditation instead. So people can get to do a meditation. They don't just have to do the 24 hour exercise anymore. So it's really quite awesome. Um, with each and every um, a live session. I've now introduced EFT tapping or breath work or the combination of the two. So some live classes, I have both EFT tapping and breath work. Definitely the last live class that I did, that was the case that I had both EFT tapping 
and breathwork, the last live series, the last five days of live classes. Uh, but moving forward, I may do one or the other, uh, but we get to do them as a group. We get to debrief, we get to share. And I think that's really where the power of the bank account challenge comes from, right? Is that in these five days, you're not just doing this on your own. You're also doing this with other people. You have a group on Facebook. So definitely join us. The purpose of the bank account challenge is really quite simple, is that in five days, you are able to figure out what's going on in your bank account, uh, in your bank account or bank accounts, right? So for me, I usually do my personal business, uh, my personal bank account and my business bank account, and then um, I start to um, change our spending habits in that case. So it's about changing our spending habits, changing um, how we interact with our bank accounts. And yes, it's possible to do that in five days. And we do that on a mind, body, spirit, mental level. So it's quite awesome. And we do that by healing deep ancestral trauma. So we're working on healing trauma, not just um, budgeting, as you could tell from this live class, very little to do with your traditional ways of how to manage money. We're not focused on self-discipline. We're focused a lot on what's going on internally and as within, so without. So I've seen people change their lives dramatically, especially their spending habits dramatically from this five-day bank account challenge. And that was even before or I added the live um, uh, breathwork meditations and live EFT tapping sessions. So if you are interested in being part of the bank account challenge, then go to wealthy-money.com forward slash bank account. I'm going to have the link in this description. Again, go to wealthy-money.com forward slash bank account, right? All one word bank account and you are going to be taken to the landing page of the bank account challenge and just purchase the course and you'll instantly start receiving welcome emails to the course um, and you'll also get instructions when uh, we start the live um, classes starting October 1st to October 5th, 2020. So we're starting next week, Thursday, October 1st to October 5th, 2020. You get to print out your bank account and we start to work with that and we create a brand new spending manifesto. So I'll be teaching you some of the things that work around um, changing our spending habits and I'll be giving you a really really simple tool that you can do when you go shopping after you go that you can use when you go shopping after shopping um, basically quite a simple tool that um, just involves you being in your body as you spend money and it's not anything like positive thinking. It's not affirmations. It's literally working with what is going on in your body. So I don't do affirmations. I don't do visualization. I'm not going to ask you to um, a positive think. I'm not going to ask you to employ self-discipline in budgeting. Uh, none of that. You will not be shamed for spending all your money on certain things. I'm not going to ask you to give up the things that you love. In fact, that never works when it comes to budgeting. So this is not just another budgeting course. This is about healing trauma and really working with the nervous system to heal trauma so that we can start to make different choices and start to I use money differently. So I really, really hope that you'll join us for the bank account challenge. Again, you can register at wealthy-money.com forward slash bank account. Again, wealthy-money.com forward slash bank account. Thank you so much. I hope that 
the breath work meditation and the EFT tapping from this live, um, from the sneak peek really, really gave you some insight as to what's going on with your spending habits and gave you a little bit more understanding of how you're operating when it comes to money. Have a fantastic morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Bye.